Well, I know pictures in the field of uh, your products are still, you know, when somebody finds one and posts it up on the internet, mm -hmm. um, everybody just wants to see it. Everybody wants to look mm -hmm. at it. They're they're enthralled with looking at it and you know seeing where where we started. You know? mm -hmm. um, that's if you want a picture of the one of where we started. Any something here? And this is what? <laughs> that's, a, that's a what? That's, yeah. a, that's, what, that's how you work out your ideas. You build something uh, like that. And, and what, what do you call this? What was this your first? It wasn't anything. It was just the, the idea of a piston and pumping. Now there's the one that paid off. That's the one. That's the dual cylinder squeeze pump. Just a plumber's nightmare is all it was. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Where did you get that old truck? I don't remember. Uh, living there in Glendale, there was a Christmas tree lot at the end of our street, and he was selling a flatbed truck. And there was a old four-wheel four drive tractor truck. And I said, how much do you want for the tractor truck? He said, oh, that's a piece of junk. I said, how much? He says, $200. I said, I'll take it. Mm -hmm. And that's where we got the, I wanted the four-wheel drive for 29 palms because of the sand. Right. And the short bed to put the pump off, hanging off the back. Right. And then we built the boom which was just a fold, the first folding boom, but it wouldn't go up and down. It was just the height of the building. So um, Carl, who owned Pootsmeister at the time, bought Thompson. Yeah. And you were saying basically he did that is because he wanted to get into the American market. Was he having a hard time getting into the American market before that? Yeah, because uh, he couldn't compete with our equipment. He didn't have anything at that time. And he wanted to get established someplace in the United States so he could start producing here. Right. Yeah, I, I was at the World of Concrete uh, this year and I saw Thompson equipment in their booth. This year? Mm-hmm. Hmm. What, what kind of equipment? <laughs> Plaster equipment. Oh, okay. Oh, the blaster machine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So there's still Thompson equipment in there. Yeah. You... Well, that's the original design. Right. That's your design, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. When was the last time you guys were at a World of Concrete? Twenty years ago. No. I was in <laughs> 1994. Yeah. 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 That's when they presented me with a. Black. Who did? ACPA? ACPA. As a pioneer in the business. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's probably more like a uh, creator of the business. Yeah. <laughs> well, like I said, there were other people trying these things and doing these things, but we knew nothing about them because we were so darn busy with our own problems in business. Right. We didn't care about the other fellow really. Until they you, were there. I was having fun. Yeah. I had my own machine shop. A very skilled machinist, two helpers, and all we did was build things. Right. That was at uh, and nobody until corporate got in the way, he never bothered me. You guys got along really well oh, through the yeah. whole process? Oh yeah. No, never had a problem. But this machine well, shop he's No, wait a minute. We never had a problem except every idea came, I came up with, he said it won't work. 
<laughs> I don't remember that. And I'd go back and make it work. <laughs> anyway, at, at Thompson there in the later years, um, when we expanded and had a machine shop, prep shop, and so on, I was well aware of the uh, industrial spries trying to find out what we were going to do next. So that's why I built him a special secret yeah. machine shop, engineering office, and so on, where no one was allowed in there except me and a few others. Mm. So he developed his new ideas there. Yeah. It was, it was like having your own hobby shop. <laughs> <laughs> so your brother's strengths in this industry were what would you say your brother's strengths were? His uh, ability to innovate or, you know, create new ideas or his mechanical? Um, you know, I think it was a, I think it was the fact that I was always in the construction business from the time I was 15 years old. And our father put, put me out on the jobs and so on. But, so I just felt at home in the construction business. Mm -hmm. And uh, Marvin did too, because he was in construction all of his working life. But I was in construction before I was even, even in high school. <laughs> yeah. So it's just... Uh, so Marvin's strengths were his ability to... His crazy ideas. His crazy ideas. <laughs> and uh, what was uh, Richard's strengths? Keeping me in line and business. I had no idea of business. I still mm -hmm. don't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Business and money. So you Is made a really correct? good... Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. You made a really good team then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really, he didn't tell me what to do, and I didn't tell him what to do. <laughs> Very nice. But I, I could never have made it without him. Yeah. 